And to new this year, Visit Jacksonville became the first tourism board in Florida to be autism certified. That means the staff have all undergone training to better understand and meet the needs of those with autism, those visitors, and their families. Many autistic individuals and their families want to travel, yet may worry that they will not be understood, welcomed, or have access to accommodations that they may need. A recent survey of parents, families, and those with autism discovered that 94% of respondents would take more vacations or visit more new places if they had access to autism-trained and certified options. So with April being Autism Awareness Month and the summer tourism kicking off in a few weeks, we wanted to bring on Visit Jacksonville and the International Board of Credit credentialing and continuing education standards. So the IBCCES is the board that grants the Certified Autism Center designation. Joining us this morning is Katie Matura, Chief Marketing Officer and Visit, Jacks, uh, Visit Jacksonville and Meredith Teakin, President of IBCCES. Thank you ladies for being here to talk about this important issue. Sure. So um, like the survey mentioned, which is an IBCCS survey, Lots and lots of families and adults and uh, autistic individuals want to travel, they want to have options, but in the past they may have felt unwelcome or they weren't sure what the experience was going to be like, so that's why we created this program. We know that the CDC just updated the diagnosis numbers, so one in 36 kids in the U.S. are diagnosed with autism, and that's up from one in 44, but lots of kids and adults don't have a diagnosis, so they're not even counted in those numbers. So this is a huge need, and we're really excited that Visit Jax has taken that step. That is awesome. So talk to us about what this training is and really what it looks like. Sure. Uh, well, from my standpoint at Visit Jacksonville, it was a, a, a really great educational, you know, easy to do and understand and really get that knowledge that you needed when you're interacting with a visitor. What, it, what do we need to be prepared or acting with visitors who have uh, autism? What do we need to be prepared and what do we, how do we approach the situation so that we're giving them the best possible service? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what does this certification mean for the community and people coming to visit the impact? So IBCCS is working globally with communities on um, designations and initiatives like this. So the idea is there are probably families that are already coming to our area that could have a better experience if there's locations that are certified. So visit Jacksonville being certified is the first step. We hope that other attractions and hotels and options in the area get certified. And then um, if they do, we could make Jacksonville an, a certified autism destination and promote that and bring even more folks to the area because what we want to do is you know, roll down the welcome map for those families so they feel comfortable. Um, and uh, there's usually just a few things that locations can do to provide accommodations or again, it's about that empathy as well and just making folks feel welcomed. And we know that IBCCES works with many businesses. Can you share more about how tourism venues, you know, things like museums, shops, what steps they can take to better uh, work with these individuals and their families so that they have the best experience? Yeah, so most locations, we're not trying to make the experience not exciting. You know, we want to kind of maintain that experience for the, the organizations, but they can provide options such as flexible ways to do ticketing or entrance, you know, helping with waiting in lines, helping with the sensory experience, letting folks know what it's going to be like beforehand. And then if somebody does get overwhelmed, make sure you have a process in place so that folks can, um, you know, take a break and then still enjoy that location. Um, for, you know, from Visit Jax's standpoint too, it's how do we provide options and guides and communication around what to expect in Jacksonville and the surrounding areas so that again folks can be comfortable. And real quick before we go, how important is it and how good does it feel to have this for these families? It must feel amazing. It feels great. It was it was one of those things that when, it, when we were doing the training, we really felt like we were we were doing our part to make sure we were the best at what we were doing. And we always think of Jacksonville as a welcome, welcoming place as people who live here. We know everyone says once they visited, what a friendly city. I love this place. I will definitely be back. But what the outside world may not know, things like trainings and things like this, so we put the word out and let people know that we are welcoming, that we care enough to do this kind of thing for our community and for those visitors, that's what really makes a difference and that's what makes Jacksonville be known for that. Such an important message. Thank you both so much for your insight. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.